Hello students, have you ever wondered that you can find the compound interest without using the traditional formula of amount and simultaneously we have to use the compound interest formula also. So if you want to get rid of this formula and calculate the compound interest through a shortcut in a matter of 10 seconds only then just follow this video. Let us try and understand the concept of compound interest through this question. We have to calculate the compound interest of, on rupees 6000, this is the principal amount, at the rate of 10% per annum, this is the rate of interest and the time is 2 years. Now this question, in this question we have been given 10% per annum interest. So, we need to know that for one year, if the time is one year, simple interest and compound interest is the same. We don't need to apply the formula for compound interest if the time period given is only one year. So, for finding interest for one year, we can just multiply the principal with 10%. So 10% of 6000 will give you the interest for the first year, whether it is simple interest or it is compound interest. So in the solution, CI for first year, this is direct, this is 10% of 6000, don't need to calculate, just remove 10, 600. So this is the interest received after one year. Now important thing is to calculate CI for second year. Now what you need to do here is you just take this interest 600 and add 10% that is the same percentage of the same interest of the first year you will get the interest for the second year. So 600 plus 10% of 600 remove 10, this is 60. So rupees 660 is the interest for second year. Now notice here that the interest for first year was 600 and for the second year it is greater because principal amount increased to 6000 plus 600. So for the second year interest is calculated down 6600. So the interest is greater. Now the total CI, you can calculate the total CI, just add the compound interest of the two years, this is 600 plus 660, so rupees 1260, 1260 is the answer for this question. Little practice of this and you can get rid of all these steps, you can just find 10% of 6000 here and then 10% of 660 here. Uh, then you will get the total interest. Now let us practice this concept taking one more example I have changed the principal amount and the rate of interest time remains the same two years. So I will reduce the number of steps now. See first year 5% of 15,000 so two zeros cancelled 15 fives are 75 so 750 is the interest for first year. For the second year, you have to take 750 and then take the same percentage, 5% of this only, 750. So 750 plus 10 zero gets cancelled, 5 ones are, 5 twos are. So 75 upon 2 is 37 and a half. So rupees 787.5 is the interest for the second year. So just add total CI will come out to be 750 plus 787.5. So the total CI 1537.5 rupees. See the statements here written now this has been reduced. You can further reduce these steps and practice you will be able to do it orally also if you practice 10 to 15 questions of this type. Now let us take a little bit different 
problem. Now here the amount received, we have to calculate the amount. So amount cannot be calculated if we don't know the compound interest. So we need to know the compound interest first, just like this, and then add it to the principal amount, we get the amount received. Now, see here principal is rupees 4000 for the first year interest will be calculated on 4000 rate of interest now it is 10 percent per annum for one year the rate of interest is 10 percent but it is compounded half yearly so every six months the interest is given 10 percent interest is for one year so for six months it is half of that so five percent half yearly interest and since interest is given every half year the total time is one and a half years so the number of times interest received is three because every half year once so one and a half years three times three half years now we will use this data so we need to calculate interest three times here now see first year ci for the first half year this is 4000 and interest is 5%. So 5% of 4000. This comes out to be rupees 200. Second, 200 plus 5% of 200. So 200 plus 5% of 200 is 10. So rupees 210. Third, 210 plus 5% of 210. So 210 plus 5% of 210 is 10 rupees 50 pesa, 10.5. So rupees 220.5. Now these are the three interests. So we need to calculate the total amount received. So total amount received is principal amount was 4000 add total interest. Now total interest is 200 plus 210, 410, 610, 630.5. So the amount received after one and a half years is rupees 4630.50. So you see no need of these formulas wherein you have to use the powers, you have to use LCM, you have to add the fractions, carry out long calculations, just have little understanding of compound interest concept and you will be able to solve all these problems verbally. So keep learning and keep sharing the channel if you like it.